Hey, good morning YouTube. Uh, today we're going to play with the Savage A17. Uh, as you've seen on the last video I made on it, uh, aftermarket laminated stock being developed for it. Um, that stock, it was the very first one cut. There was machining tolerances. Uh, there were shims in it, different things. And it shot most of the, the three most accurate that I'd had luck with, the 17 grainers. CCI Hornady and the CCI A17 I just threw in there because it came available. Basically we're shooting these are 10 shot groups just under two inches, right at two inches, right at two and a half inches. Uh, since then they've made the second stock, they adjusted the computer program, kicked out another one. I've done nothing more than take the barreled action, put it in the new stock, and this is what we're dealing with now. Same exact ammo, these are down to five shot groups. CCI VMAX 17 grain. 100 yard bench, people. Four of them within five eighths of an inch, but there's a flyer out there, an inch and an eighth. The Hornady brand, 17 grain with their bullet. Four of them in seven eighths of an inch. Got one up there at an inch and three quarter. The CCI A17, four of them in seven eighths of an inch. Got a flyer out there, an inch and three quarter. We're going to glass bed this thing in here, what I'm hoping. We're just going to pull them flyers, bring them right down in here with the group. You take them three flyers, put them down with the group, any one of them, that'd be tickled pink. That'd be an excellent, excellent rimfire shooting rifle. I'm going to get the gun up here, show you how to glass uh, bed it. action, I'm just prepping it up, ready to go. Uh, wrap your tape around your barrel up here. Get it ready to drop in. This is going to be one of the absolute easiest bedding jobs I've ever, ever done. See the way this is radiused right here? That's going to drop right in there, going to hold it in there rock solid. There will be no left to right movement. What I want to know right now, the lug right here where that bolt goes in, this flat, sets right in there. Are we setting down flat? Is our tape giving us our uh, true meaning up here? Are we setting on tape or are we still setting on here? I want glass bedding on here. I don't want this setting down on metal. When that goes in there, I want wood removed glass. It goes down on glass. I don't want any metal touching wood. I want metal to glass, glass to wood. How we find that out? Take a little bit of your putty. You can see I've already got the holes filled. I'm not making a 30 minute video out of this. I'm cutting through a lot of the, the detail and I've just got done uploading a video about glass bedding, a Ruger 77, 22 Hornet. Uh, the mixing, all the details of it are in there. It's like 24 minutes long. I'm going to try to make this short. Okay, I've got my putty in my holes. I want to know, so what do you do? You take that putty, little BB size piece, put it right in there, drop it in and put it into its place. Squeeze her down tight. We've got good fit. I don't know if you can see that. We good fit on our tape up here, keeping it centered, which is going to give us a totally free float. Okay, pull her back out of there. You can see it's smushed down flat. We have metal to wood contact. We're going to take a Dremel. We're going to clean up a little bit of that. I'm going to rough it up, and that's going to give our epoxy even better adhesion. Again, uh, Hornady One Shot for release agent is what I use. Uh, absolute best thing I've ever ever come across. Very easy. Okay, we've got our bud, our glass bedding compound, fully mixed up. Uh, once again, it is mixed 50/50 always. No other ifs, ands, or buts about it. Quick recap. I've got everything I do not want glass getting onto covered with tape. Uh, keep everything clean as you can back here. We're going to put just a little bit around in the tang area there. That's going to be self-centering. Going to hold it. We have tape wrapped around the barrel. That is going to self-center up here on this. We've taken a uh, Dremel and remove very little bit of wood there. So we're going to have glass in there. Uh, we're going to completely float, uh, completely bed the channel in front of our lug area right here. 
It's going to be absolutely fully supported. Cannot go left, right, up, down, nothing. That bolt goes in there, pulls it down in there. It's around being sucked into a round. Here goes nothing. Like I said, this is going to be one of the absolute easiest ones I think I've ever, ever dealt with. This back area back here, you don't even have to worry too much about it. Uh, that dust cover that goes on there. That's going to cover up everything. This rifle has a bad case of projectile dysfunction. And this is a case of Viagra lifetime dose. I'm thinking we're good. That's pretty thick uh, space in there to fill. So I got a lot in there. Like I said, this flat, this round part, the flat on the bottom, that's going to be fully, fully bedded in there. Not fully so, just here. Round this collar and up here. Fully supported. You can see where it's going to set. Uh, two shots, two coats, Hornady one shot on there. That glass bedding material is not going to stick to anything but what I want it to stick to. We're going to let it into the back first, keeping pressure going back, and we're just going to drop it right in, and we're going to squeeze it down till that tape sets on bottom. Once again, we're just going to let uh, gravity do its job. Yep, there she be. You know what, if you want to, I'm going to show you just because, but uh, it comes with some surgical tubing. And if you don't want to put the bolts in, which I'm not going to, just wrap this in here and it'll be just like putting your bolts in. It's going to hold that stock rock down, right down rock solid. Pull it around, wrap it underneath itself. There you got constant pressure pulling that down, pulling it down. I don't know if you can see that in there, that bedding material is oozing around all four corners. Fully, fully supported. Can't see nothing down in there. It's coming down through the hole, but we're going to clean that out with a drill bit when the time comes. We're going to let this set for a day or two. And we'll take it out and shoot it. That's all there is to it, folks. That's glass bedding. Simplest thing you can possibly do to improve a rifle's accuracy. All right, this sucker's been sitting here about since this time yesterday, 24 hours, we'll call it. We're going to pull her on out of here and see what she looks like. Uh, give her a little bit on the front, break her loose. That is so simple. Once again, you see the Hornady one shot did exactly what I intended it to do. You see there now we have full coverage from here to here. Got a very small void right there in the corner. Uh, strictly cosmetic. 
we got more than enough the barrel the collar nut of the barrel the lug down in there recess what little miniature recoil lug we have is got glass against it on the back the tang area that is now a pocket in there absolutely no motion no movement whatsoever allowed a little bit there we're gonna to have to do some clean up on take a dremel dress it out no big deal uh, like on the Ruger I didn't even clean the Ruger up I just put it together and left it probably will someday that's it people that's glass bedding We're going to put her together, get out on a range, and see if it, uh, how good a job it does tightening up loose groups. I just got done shooting this thing. Uh, put three groups down range. Wind's starting to pick up just a shade. I had dead calm weather. Uh, I want to give you a rundown of this stock. As uh, far as I'm concerned, it's finished. It works flawlessly. It is Boyd's from Mitchell, South Dakota. They did some checkering on it. Uh, it's got a hell of a nice pattern. I actually, one of the better check rings I think I've ever seen, actually. Uh, magazine pops in, pops out just like it's supposed to. It's actually better than the original. Safety is just a hair bit hard to get at. I'm going to mention that to them if they want to deal with it. If not, it's not impossible. Uh, you still have a crappy trigger. There's nobody that's going to fix that. Best part of it, they also do laser, anything you want to put on there. If you can design it on a computer, they can grave that baby right in for you. They got my name on there, Cave Dweller. Don't get any better than that. Uh, one last go around here. Figure out how I want to do this. I don't remember the gentleman's name. He posted on my one of my videos how it shoots left-handed. I don't know exactly what he's getting at. I think is maybe how the uh, empties fly across his face. I'm about as non-left-handed as anybody you'll ever see, but we're going to give it a whirl. Whoa, too much magnification for offhand. We're just shooting that dirt, nothing in particular. I'd say it works rather well. Uh, one more note, on top of another note maybe. Uh, I ran into a guy the other day and he has one of these, we got talking about it. And I asked him if he had any issues with feeding said they had a few with the original stock he hasn't got this this is the first one off the press actually sitting on a bench just like I did he thought what it was not pulling the stock into the shoulder it would short cycle uh, if you know anything about semi-automatic handguns they call that limp wristing uh, the exact same issue I think I had with it this stock is exactly one pound heavier than the factory plastic I've had absolutely zero issues with any ammunition. It's probably had about 150 rounds through it with the first stock. This is actually stock number two. Uh, the groups I just got done shooting down there, like I said, the glass bedding. We're going to go back in the cave. I'm going to get all the targets out and show you the progression. How uh, it went from being a loser to a damn good shooting gun. Hey, we're Let's back in the, the cave. cave again. I uh, wanted to show you targets from when we started till today when we ended. This is one of the very, very first. Uh, this gun does prefer 17 grain. Uh, if you remember, it would shoot a fairly decent group. Very next one, very loose. No consistency whatsoever. Has serious, serious bedding issues. This target right here is nothing more than taking a barreled action and bolting it in to this stock right here. We took them loose groups, sucked them right down in, starting to make actual groups out of them. But we still have some flyers. As good as these stocks are, they're still manufacturing tolerances. I don't consider it, just because you order one, you got it in the mail, personally I don't consider it finished until it is bedded. This gun is now bedded, it is finished as far as I'm concerned. 
and we're going to look at some of these groups I shot today. The Hornley, non-batted, batted. Seven eighths of an inch, four of them fly your way out in limbo land. We just made, took that flyer, drug it right down in with the group. Five shots, 650 thousandths of an inch. Nothing there to complain about. That's pretty darn good. That is pretty darn good. The A17, seven eighths of an inch between four of them with the flyer out in limbo land again. We just took that flyer, drug it right down in with the group. That's one inch right there. One inch group out of a rim fired 100 yard bench. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. What really, really, really tripped my trigger today. Uh, when I shot this target, that was the last of my VMAX in the CCI, the 17 grain. I dug through the bag of ammo. And I dug out 17 grain CCI TNT hollow points. That's pretty salty there, people. That's 410 thousandths of an inch. And yes, there are five holes in that paper. Probably never shoot a group like that again, but I bet it'll shoot pretty darn tough. This stuff right here on its day, suck that one down in there, pretty impressive. This one will have its day, might shoot some loose one day, tight next, but it's going to be very, very, very consistent. Very consistent. You'll never shoot groups like this in the factory configuration. Sorry, it's not going to happen. It will happen. You're gone. Maybe better, maybe worse, maybe the same. It will not shoot till its full potential until it is in a rigid, solid platform bedded. Ah, hope I got the point across. Like I said, this is a Boyd stock. They use this rifle to uh, test pattern to build the stock to measure it. This is uh, the second one. I consider it done. It's got gorgeous checkering on it. Patterns that uh, I've never really seen before. Rather pleasing to the eye, in my opinion. And plus it's got my name on it. That is pretty cool. They can do anything you want to do. If you can imagine it, they could probably build it. Talk to them. Call them. Uh, I do not know when this stock will be available. Uh, check their websites. They sell most of their stuff, I believe, on the web through that way. When it shows up, it'll be there. Very simple to do, glass bedding. Thanks a lot.